So did you guys know this? Shutterlock will be limited to 20 battle cry effects only. And also the animations will go twice as fast. And that's good news because Shutterlock pretty much never hit 20 plus in this deck. And the animations will just make it win faster. Oh, right, there's finally enough data to come in that it's actually an above 50% win rate. And some of you thought that Crip had formed the better version. Let's look up how Cobalt Apprentice is doing. Cobalt Apprentice, oh, what is this? 41.7% win rate. Huh. The Madman. Serenite's just a good card, I guess. And it's Tempo Mage. So if it's Tempo Mage, I'm greatly favored to lose. Greatly unfavored, in other words. If it's Control Mage, I'm greatly favored. The Tempo, or Fustro against Control Mage is like near 100% to win, but I would argue Shutter Walk versus Control Mage is probably also near 100%. Is it a tempo mage or is it a control mage? What kind of control mage would play a secret? Need a key. Interesting. Oh, it's control mage, which means I win. Spoiler, I win this game. An incredible discovery. Feels good? Does it feel good? Not sure. Now given that it's a control mage, I do want to maximize my chances of a good result. So I should save my Zola for a Serenite Chain Gang. But I should also save my coin for... Wait, can we turbo this? I believe we can turbo Shutterwalk. All I need to do, Serenite Chain Gang, Zola, that's the next turn. And then, oh no, because one for all. Maybe I should use my coin here because I'm not going to coin the shutter walk before I yeah, might as well play this then. And then I play Hagatha and then I play Shutter Walk. And everything is great. Uh, that's a fast uh, shutter walk. So I have successfully played three Serenite Chain Gags and, and a Zola, which means that my chances of getting Shutterwalk back in my hand are 75%. Now the only argument here is that possibly I shouldn't be taking only a 75% chance. And that's a fair argument. Yeah, I, I forgot that against Control Mage, I should not turbo out the combo, I should maximize my chances, which means playing Grumble first. That could take forever, though. So I'm, I'm going to go for it. Uh, let's... let's play Doomsayer. Set up the Shutter Walk next turn.
I was waiting for one draw. It's a long time to wait. Although, when I think about it, my maximum payoff on Shutterwalk is pretty limited. Since... Oh no, it's very high because I'll create a lot of copies of Shutterwalk. And then I will get one copy, ideally. I've played three Serenite Chain Gangs, which means in theory I'll play out... I mean, no matter what, it's 24-24 in stats. The only downside is I might miss. Which is a pretty big downside. Alright, let's see. Both fireballs were created by Archmage Antonidas there. So in theory he could fireball fireball me again. So maybe we hold off on a turn. I actually have a few regrets right now, I must decide. but it's okay. We're fine. All right, so I'm gonna take my 25% chance at it. With Frostbolt in that build, I don't think the opponent can realistically handle it, anyways. Yes, got the Serenite copy first. It's not even... that's fine. I forgot it wasn't 6-6s, six it was just 6-3s. Can healing rain though. I'm gonna try not to play Deathwing. That would be bad for Shutterwalk. Not optimal. Seven mana Deathwing. I guess that's fine. Interesting. Only I could overload for more than two. Let the pain speak to me. So we have 18, 32 damage, and the opponent's at 32. But I feel like I'm not going to win yet. Chill out. Wait, that means I won. Sick. Snicker, snicker. Ooh. Is it the Shutterwalk mirror? Or is he playing even Shaman? I think those are the only two uh, in the meta at the moment. Hmm. Or Elemental Shaman, I guess, but that's not really a thing now, is it? That's well, not a thing. Let me get back. Yeah, I'll just play Tark Reaper and High Doomsayer behind it after he plays a good current. Yeah, it seems to be a Haggath Elemental Shaman, but. Eh. That goes too slow for me, most likely. Elemental Shaman is vaguely in the value deck camp. And could a value deck possibly work in today's meta? Value decks are not doing very well. I'll try to save this and this together.
Hmm. Oh. No five drop elemental. How sad. How sad. Ooh. I want to set up for turn seven for me to play life uh, clear night. So I'll, I'll try to play Doomsayer next turn. That seems like. Nah, I'm not going to get a better moment to Doomsayer than that. I'll probably do Serenite Coinzilla, something like that. Or maybe just Life Drinker, that's fine too. Life Drinker, Hero Power, next turn Serenite, so uh, maybe play an Acolyte of Pain. The opponent is probably wanting to play Fire Elemental, so killing the Life Drinker or the Acolyte of Pain is a pain. I want to try to play Acolyte of Pain with Volcano. Maybe I just play Serenite Chain Gang. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting, you played that instead of Fire Elemental. Oh, maybe it's Hagatha time. Yep. Actually, play Shutterwalk right about now. I've played two Serenite Chain Gangs and Zola, but that would only give me a 30 or 66% chance for a Shutterwalk to go off. Those odds aren't good enough. I'm in a rough spot right now. I think I'm going to run out of value by the time that I can actually pull things off. I might have to rely on the 66% chance on Shutterwalk, because I don't have a play otherwise. Maybe I'll get pressured too much. I don't have any board clear, I don't have any draw, I don't have Hagatha. That's kind of good enough. Interesting. I should save the coin so that if I overload by two, I can still play Shutterwalk. I like that idea. I know I don't want to play the Glacial Shard yet due to potentially getting Hagatha and being able to draw a spell off of Glacial Shard because right now I'm actually very light on cards. Mm. Okay, another Serenite pushes my odds up to 75%. I should take those odds. It's normal instinct to kill the uh, Manatide Totem there, but I hadn't realized it, but the Manatide Totem stops me from being able to actually go off successfully. I mean, it reduces my odds a lot. Actually, a pretty big problem.
Like, why wouldn't you kill off that totem, right? Full damage totem. I have Lightning Storm. It's spooky. Everyone's just always done it without thinking. Yeah, I can't do it while I have this totem on the board. I guess this guy's played Shutterwalk before. Alright, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14. So I have the volcano. Come to me, little ones. Ooh. Brothers, heed my call. 10, 16, 20. Oh, that's. Ooh, I just. Okay, no five armors. So that's useless in theory. But it's a uh, volcano bait. Alright, so Shutterwalk now deals two to everything, which is great. I'll kill off the hogger. Anyways, as usual, the longer I can wait on the Shutterwalk, the higher a chance I have guaranteeing its success. And that deck's pretty slow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh crap, I forgot that deck can just run Shutterwalk also. It's pretty uh, menacing still. 4, 8, 9, 11, 16 health on the board. Uh, so that looks like it's most likely to survive. So I should just Volcano, it's all good. 4, 8, 9, 11. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, is Shutterwalk, is me playing Shutterwalk any good? I deal 2 damage to everything. And then I freeze a random minion. Uh, yeah, let's just wait. I'm pretty unlucky. Well, I can take that damage once. It's fine. Hmm. Right, the grumble ensures that I have a much higher chance of successfully pulling things off. But I want a totem in my hand that costs one. Hand's pretty empty right now. I'll take it. The problem with the totem is 50% of the time I get the spell damage or the healing totem, and then he just leaves it on the board and then it interferes with my shutter walk. He's really close. No! No! Why? 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 Oh my god. So close. Ah, if only his Shutterwalk had died to the volcano. Never lucky. I guarantee you the way that I played the game was right. No, I can't guarantee that, but the way that most of you would have played the game would have been wrong. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>